welcome back to the Quartermaster Corner. I'm your host, Noah Pitzer. Today, we're going to be talking about hammocks. Now, this is going to be a two-part video along with a separate video that I made a few years ago that is for your reference. So go ahead and check that out. I'll talk more about it a little bit later, and there will be a link down in the description below. It's going to cover each one of these steps in more detail. And then the next part of this video is going to be more about technical parts of hammock camping. So this video is going to be all about these products that I have set out here, similar to all the other Quartermaster Corner videos I've done. Um, and the next one is just going to be all about, you know, kind of technique and other uh, kind of approaches to hammock camping. So if you guys know me personally, I am what people call a hammock nerd, hammock enthusiast. You know, this is pretty much my life when it comes to summer camp. I really like um, sleeping in my hammock. I really like lounging, you know, all that stuff. There's a bunch of things that hammock camping has to offer uh, compared to your traditional tent camping. So um, before we get this out of the way, if you guys are first year in Troop 200, meaning that you joined in this year, um, and this is gonna be your first summer camp, unfortunately, you're not gonna be allowed to sleep in the hammocks, and that's for a few reasons that I'm gonna to touch on right now. And that's basically um, because hammock camping is a little bit trivial in terms of if you're just starting out, um, if you don't get your setup quite right, you're not gonna sleep very well. And usually, my first, I wanna say five nights in a hammock uh, weren't that great nights of sleep because I didn't really have um, my setup figured out. So as you learn, it's gonna take um, some more time, and usually um, when you're just starting out, especially at summer camp, when you're gonna need to get a good night's sleep every night, um, you're gonna have some issues. So, uh, yeah, that's why we tell first years to not sleep in your hammock, um, but you can bring it and lounge in it, just no sleeping in it. All right, so we've got three hammock setups right here, and I call them setups very loosely because they can be paired with a tarp, bug net, all of the above, and then, of course, they can be used all together to have the maximum hammock experience. So, um, basically, we're going to start off from pricing low to high, I guess, um, and then we're just going to kind of roll through it. So if you guys are a beginner, I'd recommend going kind of in the low to mid range um, just so you can get thinking about things as we go. So let's go ahead and start off with this hammock right here. This hammock right here is not a store-bought hammock. I actually built this myself. Um, I got the fabric. This is nylon fabric from Joanne um, Fabric Store. I um, mean, I sewed it up myself. I know I have skills. No, actually, I don't really remember how I did this, but I did it a little while ago. And I basically um, took some Amsteel line, which is really, really, really strong rope, and some D-rings, and then I got some one-inch webbing straps from the same place. And then basically, how this hammock attaches to the tree is it's kind of like if you ha ever had a D-ring belt. You can just go ahead and feed it through both, and then back through one, and then you've got a really, really sturdy hammock setup. So that's really nice thing about this hammock, and I think I built this entire thing for under 20 bucks. And I also paired it with a um, blue tarp, you know, just a basic Walmart tarp that I don't have pictured in this thing. But, uh, you know, you can kind of get the point from that. I have it in my other video that I'll link down below, like I said. Now, that's a really nice setup for beginners. This is actually can be tailored to whatever size you want because you're obviously making it yourself. Um, however, you're going to need some sewing experience, so I don't really recommend it if you're just trying to get into hammocking. But this is an entire new, entirely new experience. Um, just because this one's actually 12 feet long, it's completely um, stylized for me. I can make it however I want to whatever specs I want, and it's a really great lounging hammock. My uh, basically my top lounging hammock is very durable material. So now we're going to move on to the next hammock that I got. This one is a uh, has no name. It's actually a really cheap Amazon hammock that I actually got a few years ago at the Camp Freelander Trading Post, and I don't think they sell these anymore. Uh, however, they might sell something this year. We never know. Um, but this one was also $20 um, for the hammock. There was no straps included. Um, so you're going to need to make your own or, you know, get some sort of rope. However, you need to make sure it's tree friendly. Um, this is a really nice nine foot hammock. It's very comparable to the Eno single nest series, um, which I really, really like those hammocks because they're very durable as well. Um, however, this one uh, has a little bit less quality. The bag that you see right here um, was actually attached to the side, just like the Eno hammocks are. If you guys know, have an Eno, you know what I mean. Um, but it actually came unstitched in the first use. So I went ahead and poked a hole in it and put the bag on the end so you can stuff the hammock into there and you don't have any problem. I really like that setup. You guys can see all three of my hammocks have the bag on the end style setup. And then I also paired that with this uh, Ultimate Survival Technologies Base Tube Tarp 1.0. This is a really, really, really nice tarp. Um, it has a lot of multi-functions made for survival. 
Um, and it's not really marketed for hammocks at all, but it works really well as a hammock tarp. You guys can see it set up, sets up in this like triangular prism kind of deal. I mean, it actually has this nice durable nylon material, as you guys can see right here. Um, and then on the inside, it has the emergency blanket kind of a reflective coating. So it keeps you really warm at night. And I really like it for that reason. Um, this is fully waterproof, of course. So you're not going to have many troubles with that. And it's very, very big. You kind of set it up diagonally and it works well. Again, check out my other video if you want to see all these setups set up um, and kind of show them what you look like. So, all right, moving on to the Eno setup. This one is my favorite setup, the favorite setup that I spent the most money on and the setup that I use the most. So this one is, like I said, fully Eno. Basically what we got here for straps is we got the Eno um, Atlas straps. These are really nice daisy chain straps, so you can get it just perfect. Extremely strong, no sag whatsoever. Um, you're gonna have a great time if you use these straps just because they're so guest free. Now the hammock itself is an Eno Tech Nest. And this one is basically a double nest with this really, really, really nice taffeta uh, material right here. And this one was a little bit more expensive. Um, it's one of the Eno's most expensive hammocks, so um, it's not necessarily recommended. I do think that a hammock like this uh, kind of parachute nylon material might be better. However, this is really comfortable. It's not as durable. So if you're looking for an all-around hammock, I would say the Tech Nest probably isn't the way to go, um, but it's really, really comfortable for sleeping. So yeah, I really, really like this hammock because, it, like I said, it's so lightweight and it is also very, very comfortable. And uh, it has these really nice um, aluminum carabiners right here compared to the Enos usually come with a um, full metal carabiner, um, which is great as well, but these are a lot lighter and they're a lot um, easier, don't get it stuck or rusted out. Um, so I really like this hammock, like I said, um, it's a very nice hammock, but uh, one thing you must, must note is the durability and the weight savings, you know, may trade off if you wanna get a more durable hammock. But since I already have these other two setups to lounge in, uh, this one is a great sleeping hammock. Now I've paired that with my Eno Housefly. I'll insert a picture right here. Basically, it's a tarp that covers all sides of you, just like a little house. It's almost like a tent that's floating in the air. I love this thing. It's made out of super lightweight sil nylon, um, and it's super, super awesome because it covers you, like I said, from all sides, and it's also uh, very, very lightweight. Now this one was also a pretty penny at $140. However, um, it's very, very versatile. It can be used for other applications as well. And I really think that this one was worth it. Now, I also have a bug net for this setup. You can get other cheap bug nets off Amazon for these other two setups here. Um, but basically, the, this is the Eno Guardian bug net. It's really, really nice um, for uh, you know, keeping the bugs away. You know, fully concealed in there. Um, works really well for me. I've tried it on many, many nights. However, sometimes it seems like you're getting a little claustrophobic because I feel like they could have made this a little bit bigger, um, but that's just my opinion. So yeah, those are three hammock setups that I really like. These two more specifically for lounging in and this one for sleeping in. Um, but either way, uh, if you guys know how to do it correctly, which is what the next video will focus on, uh, you guys can have a great night's sleep in either of these hammocks. So let's go ahead and talk about that video I was gonna uh, talk to you guys a little bit about earlier. Um, so basically, it's a video that I made on my other channel that is self-titled to Noah Pitzer, um, and I took each one of these setups, put it to the test, set it up for you guys, and showed you around it inside the setup. So I'll have that in the first link in the description so you guys can check that out, um, and make sure not to forget to watch that before um, making a hammock decision. So yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys would like uh, to see the part two, that's going to be coming out very, very, very soon. Um, so go ahead and stay tuned for that. It might already be up. If it is, it'll be in the description below. Um, so you guys can check that out as well. So thank you guys for watching this Quartermaster Corner video. Any other suggestions you might have, uh, please go ahead and let me know. And don't forget to talk to me at Summer Camp about hammocks. I'll have all these three there um, so you guys can make a decision for yourself. And you can test them out, of course, if you'd like to. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.